Mani Shankar Iyer is at it again. In a purported video of an event, Congress veteran picked up a political row by saying that Chinese allegedly invaded India in October 1962. Later, Iyer issued an unreserved apology for him using the term alleged. However, Congress General Secretary Jairam Ramesh, while defending his fellow congressman by attributing his mistake to age, himself stumbled into a controversy. Jairam Ramesh incorrectly said that 40 Indian soldiers were martyred in the 2020 Ladakh standoff, whereas official data confirms about 20 casualties. These blunders gave BJP ammunition to attack the Congress. The BJP was quick to pick Ayat's faux pas and went on to accuse Congress of revisionism. BJP claimed that these incidents further exposed Congress's perceived pro-China stance. In October 1962, the Chinese allegedly invaded India. On the day that Tawang fell, the Foreign Service exams began in London. So after I had passed the Foreign Service exam, I was not getting any kind of admission letter. I got a telegram saying, regret to inform you that you have been rejected from all services. And so the Intelligence Bureau, they read these newspapers and came to the conclusion that as I was a communist, and as some people said that I had raised money for the Chinese, I wasn't able to raise money to eat my dinner. How was I going to raise it for the Chinese? There are various books which indicate that we could have accepted Joe Lai's proposal of April 1960. We could have perhaps avoided war by backing up our forward policy with adequate military uh, military strength to be able to open those forward posts. And you will recall that Nehru had said that I ordered the Indian army to throw out the Chinese from the Thakla Ridge. And there was a kind of repost that came from the Chinese. So I used the expression alleged, but I shouldn't have done so. Yes, it's an I shouldn't have done so because we're in the middle of an election. This is the line the Congress party has uh, maintained for quite some time. The MOU that they have signed are all significant pointers to their connection with China and the funding of the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation. These are all issues in public domain. Mani Shankar is just playing their line. And look at his apology. He says the alleged word should not have been used because elections are going to, are going on. What does he mean by that? He clearly, clearly indicates that is their mindset and because there is elections, uh, we should not give them an opportunity to get back. I mean, India is watching. People of India are watching. And this this business of using alleged our martyrs, their blood, and their families have some pity on them. And to use words, I think this country will not forget the Congress Party for their acts, their mindset. So first, there was in fact a mistake on the part of Mani Shankar Ayer. However, Jairam Ramesh, the Congress's uh, media in charge, senior leader of the party, while defending this, uh, these arguments, attributing this mistake or this faux pas to the old age of Mani Shankar Ayer, spoke about the fact that 40 Indian braves had been killed during the Ladakh-India standoff, China standoff over Ladakh in the year 2020. However, those death toll, the death toll at that point in time was at 20. However, this is a mistake on the part of the Congress party. Once again, Piyush, statements that could have been avoided at this point in time, isn't it? Well, certainly, Sriyam, uh, this is now going to stir a massive political controversy after the statement which has been made by senior Congress leader Manishan Karir. You would remember that uh, earlier also he had made a statement on Pakistan and now on China. And after this statement, we can certainly expect BJP to uh, jump the controversy and also uh, get attack the uh, Congress party. Uh, Amit Malviya, who is also a social media head, he has also already...
tweeted saying that uh, it is nothing but a brazen attempt at revisionism by the Congress party. Two days are left for campaigning. We can expect the, the controversy to further snowball where BJP is certainly going to escalate attack on the, on the Congress party.